Hello everyone, and welcome to the weird, scary, and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are exploring one of Finland's most prolific serial killers, Mati Hapodja, who was also one of the few cross-country killers in the 19th century. I'd also like to apologize for my pronunciation, as I do not speak Finnish. Mati Hapodja was born on the 16th of September 1845 in southern Ostrobofnia, Finland. His father, Heki Hapoya, was often in court and fined for drunkenness, deforestation and unauthorized employment. Heki Hapodja was also violent at home towards his children, assaulting them with an axe, and drove his family to live in the yard. Initially convicted of brawling, Hapodja started stealing horses. And during Christmas 1866, stabbed brawler Juro Tenku, but was not sentenced to jail. One year later, he became a murderer, when on the 6th of December 1867, he stabbed farmer and childhood friend Heki Imponen to death in a drunken fight. He also stabbed farmer Hemani Hosso in the fight who survived. Hapodja spent 12 years in forced labour in Turku and in 10 years escaped four times from prison, spending months at each time on the run and gaining notoriety for the thefts he had committed while on the run. During an escape on the 15th of November 1869, farmers Mati Hekila and Hermani Hayutamaki were clubbed to death by an unidentified man in Hamenkiro. Hapodja was in the area and years later confessed to an unspecified murder in November 1869. Whilst it is suspected that he had murdered Hekilka and Hatomakai, it was never proven. In 1874, his sentence was increased to life in prison following his failed escape. During his second to last escape in August 1876, he found asylum in farmer Essa Nayagnin's home. On the 12th of August 1876, the pair got into an argument when Hapodja was attempting to commit a robbery at Nirenen's home and Hapodja shot Nirenen three times, twice in the leg and once in the face, but he managed to survive. Hapodja was subsequently returned to prison. During his final successful prison escape in January 1879, he stabbed a farmer identified as Kuvunyemi from Vahakairo before being rearrested. Following this, Hapodja petitioned for his sentence to be changed to exile in Siberia. At the time Finland was part of the Empire of Russia and in 1880 he was sent to Omsk. Omsk is in the southwest of Siberia and 2,236 kilometers from Moscow. Today it is the seventh largest city in Russia. It is believed that he killed a man in 1886, however there is no evidence linking him to this murder and subsequently he was exiled to eastern Siberia. He was also suspected of killing a convict from Alajavri, Finland, identified as Jako H in 1888, but this was never proven. In 1889, Hapodja decided to escape from Siberia and return to Finland with the intention of emigrating to the United States of America. He raised money by committing murders and robberies to fund his escape to Finland. He is suspected of killing a number of individuals, including Estonian barkeeper Rugis in Tomsk, an individual by the name of Rich Mati Kuvalianen, as well as Estonian convict Gustav Siep in 1889. Seep vanished without a trace in Simonjovka, Siberia, after he was last seen in company with Hapodja. He is also suspected of murdering other individuals and obtained a passport belonging to a Russian individual. Returning to his native Finland in September 1890, his bloodlust came with him. On the 8th of October 1890, he strangled prostitute Maria Gemina Salo in Finland's capital Helsinki, 
which was a deviation from his usual modus operandi as he usually stabbed his victims. He was captured by police in Borvu for the murder of Saulo. At the time, he confessed to the murder of Saulo as well as one individual in Siberia. Hoping to be sent back to Siberia, Hapodja was held in Katajanoka prison in Helsinki. There he met Mathilda Werde, a Finnish Swedish noblewoman who had dedicated her life to helping prisoners and the needy in Finland. Werde wrote that Hapodja had converted to Christianity and repented for his crimes, however this is highly debatable. Eventually Hapodja was sentenced to a second life sentence in Finland. On the 10th of October 1894, he attempted to escape, stabbing guards Jurho Jernval and Sven Nyman, as well as fatally stabbing Jurho Rosted. Hapolja was cornered in the prison's crowded cafeteria and, unable to escape, he then attempted to commit suicide by stabbing himself multiple times. However, the wound was not fatal, and once recovered, he was brought back to prison in January 1895. He then hung himself on the 8th of January 1895 in his cell, utilizing rope that he had braided from yarns torn from his socks. He is known to have committed three murders, is suspected of killing a further seven individuals, but may have committed as many as 22 murders, the exact number of people who Matty Hapodja killed will never be known. His body was donated to medical science and his skeleton was kept at the Central Criminal Police and Crime Museum in Vantach. He was finally buried in Yilistago in September 1995. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.